positive reactivity of metals. Zinc Take about 20 ml of 1 m solution of copper sulphate, aluminium sulphate and ferrous sulphate in three different beakers and some zinc metal pieces in a watch glass. Take some zinc metal pieces using a forceps. Using a forceps, add two pieces of zinc into the beakers containing ferrous sulphate, aluminium sulphate and copper sulphate solutions. Leave the beakers undisturbed for one hour and note the changes in color of the solutions and the appearance of the metal. In the beaker containing copper sulphate solution, the blue color of copper sulphate disappears and red-brown particles of copper settles down at the bottom of the beaker. This indicates that Zn is more reactive than Cu and it can displace Cu from CuSO4 solution and form colorless solution of ZnSO4. In the case of aluminium sulphate solution, no change is observed because Zn is less reactive than Al, so it cannot displace Al from Al2SO4-3 solution. In the case of ferrous sulphate solution, the green color of ferrous sulphate disappears and iron particles settle down at the bottom of the beaker. This indicates that Zn is more reactive than Fe and it can displace Fe from FeSO4 solution and form a colorless solution of ZnSO4. Copper Take about 20 ml of zinc sulphate, aluminium sulphate and ferrous sulphate solutions in three different beakers and some copper metal pieces in a watch glass. Using a forceps, add two pieces of copper into the beaker containing ferrous sulphate, aluminium sulphate and zinc sulphate solutions. Leave the beakers undisturbed for one hour and note the changes in color of the solutions and the appearance of the metal. There is no change in the color of the three salt solutions as well as the appearance of the metal pieces. This reaction indicates that Cu is less reactive than the other three metals that is Al, Zn and Fe so it cannot displace these metals from their salt solutions. Aluminium Take about 20 ml of copper sulphate, zinc sulphate and ferrous sulphate solutions in three different beakers and some aluminium metal pieces in a watch glass. Using a forceps, add two pieces of aluminium into the beaker containing ferrous sulphate, zinc sulphate and copper sulphate solutions. Leave the beakers undisturbed for an hour and note the changes in color of the solutions and the appearance of the metal. In the case of copper sulphate solution, the blue color of copper sulphate disappears and red-brown particles of copper settle down at the bottom of the beaker. This indicates that Al is more reactive than Cu and it can displace Cu from CuSO4 solution and form a colorless solution of Al2SO4-3. In the case of zinc sulphate solution, the solution remains colorless and Zn particles settle down at the bottom of the beaker. This indicates that Al is more reactive than Zn and it can displace Zn from ZnSO4 solution and form a colorless solution of Al2SO4-3. In the case of ferrous sulphate solution, the green color of ferrous sulphate disappears and the iron particles settle down at the bottom of the beaker. This indicates that Al is more reactive than Fe and it can displace Fe from FeSO4 solution and form a colorless solution of Al2SO4-3.
iron. Take about 20 ml of copper sulphate, zinc sulphate and aluminium sulphate solutions in three different beakers and some iron metal pieces in a watch glass. Using a forceps, add two pieces of iron into the beakers containing aluminium sulphate, zinc sulphate and copper sulphate solutions. Leave the beaker undisturbed for an hour and note the changes in colour of the solutions and the appearance of the metal. In the case of the copper sulphate solution, the blue colour of copper sulphate changes to light green and red-brown particles of copper settle down at the bottom of the beaker. This indicates that Fe is more reactive than Cu and it can displace Cu from CuSO4 solution and form a light green-coloured FeSO4 solution. In the other two cases, there is no change in the colour of the solution as well as the appearance of the metal pieces. This indicates that Fe is less reactive than the other two metals, Al and Zn, so it cannot displace these metals from their salt solutions. Order of Reactivity From these reactions, we can infer that Fe is able to displace Cu from its salt solution, Zn is able to displace Cu and Fe from their salt solutions, and Al is able to displace Zn from its salt solution. So Al is the most reactive metal and copper is the least reactive metal.